Top of the morning to you. Welcome in. It's the Martin Morning Report. It is a Friday, February 23rd. We are getting set and ready and rolling for all kinds of fun. The state tournament is just around the corner. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Five fast things from Thursday that you in KMA land need to know about. Number one, it's always going to be the performance of the day. And the performance of the day goes to See if I can get this on. Ready? It's an A L E X Alex Madsen from Platte Valley. An outstanding performance by Alex Madsen last night on our KMA Extreme. Trevor Mater told me he was dipping, he was diving, he was scoring, he was shooting, he was doing everything. He didn't tell me any of that, but I just bet that's what happened. 29 points for Madsen last night in what was a dominant victory for Platte Valley over North Nottoway. They move on into a district championship. Congratulations to our performance of the day or night, whatever you want to say, Alex Madsen here on the Martin Morning Report. Number two, state wrestling champion from the area. Maybe this should, could have been the performance of the day, but Jade Brundage doing what she is known to do. Second consecutive year for Jade to win a state championship. But I'll tell you this, the first time that she beat Delaney Smith, this year in three tries, well, that was yesterday in the state championship. She lost to her earlier in the year. She lost to her at the district tournament. She wins the state championship. Our defending KMA Land Girls Wrestler of the Year. Probably going to be that again when we announce that next week. But congratulations, Jade Brundage of Savannah, a state wrestling champion. And then also yesterday, Rockport's Gus Heinz ends up with a state runner-up finish. He won by decision in the semifinal, then lost by decision in the championship. But what a year for Gus Heinz or some Maybe his parents, his grandparents, Augustus, they call him. But uh, we call him Gus here on the Martin Morning Report. Also, yesterday, Ryder Heron of Rockport was a sixth-place finisher. Lawson Francis and Cooper Burnsides of Savannah took third. Also from Savannah, Creighton Cook, a sixth-place finisher. Let's move to number three. 3A sub-state semifinals yesterday. Helan is moving on. They get a low-scoring win over Sergeant Bluff Luton. Some of you might be saying, oh, why is Helan an area school? And crying about it. I mean, get over it. It's a Missouri River Conference school. It's a KMA Land Conference school. Helan gets the low-scoring win. Sean Schaefer, 13 points. Matt Knoll, 10 points, 13 boards. Helan's one win away from state. However, it's going to be difficult. They've got MOC Floyd Valley on the schedule now because MOC Floyd Valley beat Glenwood last night. And Ryan Matheny just getting back from Orange City. He says uh, MOC Floyd Valley, pretty, pretty good. Also, Creston falling last night. Uh, their season comes to an end. They did beat Harlan on the road in OT, but could not get past Bondurant Farrar. Number four, three teams in Missouri also advancing to district championships. Three other teams, that is. We already mentioned Platte Valley. South Holt is moving on. A big night for Cole Metzger as they beat Winston. 17 points, eight boards, six steals, four assists. North Andrew, also their opponent, gets an upset game win over Pattonsburg. They'll play for the district championship against South Holt. Braxton Linville had 22 points. Mason Nestor, head coach Wade Bryson says it was the Mason Nestor game. Comes off the bench and scores 17 points. Also, Worth County, the next opponent for Platte Valley. Another game that was on our KMA Extreme last night. They beat Rockport. On a late three-point play from Tyler New, who scored 12 points along with Bo Collins, who also had 12 points. Number five, four teams advance in Nebraska yesterday into a district championship. So these four teams are now one win away from the state tournament. Auburn, still undefeated. They rolled to a district championship win, uh, or a sub-district championship win. Matt Binder had 15 points. Conestoga, what a win for them over LC. Not Lewis Central, Lincoln Christian. Owen Troffolds and Noah Simons, 25 points each there for the Cougars. They're a win away from state. Ashlyn Greenwood got a big win over Wahoo. Derek Tanja, 17 points for the Blue Jays. Johnson Brock also still unbeaten. Camden Dollinghouse scored 22 points. The Eagles are also a win from state and a chance to defend that state championship. Those are the five fast things. And now we cool it down. Today, 4A sub-state semifinals, TJ Norwalk. AL, Dallas Center Grimes, both of those on our KMA Entities 960 for TJ, KMA Extreme, audio only for AL. Also today, district finals in Missouri. On the girls' side, we will have East Atchison Gallatin girls from Maysville on KMA FM. And then district championships in Nebraska. We have all of these listed at our website, A, C1, C2, D1, D2, girls' district finals in Nebraska. They range from mountain time to central time. Three area teams playing for the right to go to state. Fall City, Sacred Heart, Elwood Murdoch, and Johnson Brock. And we wish them all the best 
here from the Martin Morning Report. Have a great Friday. No Martin Morning Report tomorrow. I'm going to Kids State Wrestling. I don't think they want me to do this from the hotel at 5 a.m. Dang, thing starts at 8. We are going to be up and rolling. So I'm going to limit the Coca-Colas tonight. Stay tuned. For more Martin Morning Reports, you'll hear from me on Monday. Have a great weekend, y'all.